The JCB JS220 is a smaller sized excavator weighing in at about 22 tonnes. This model of it by MotorArt comes in a JCB branded box. There's a nice photo of the real machine on the back but there's no other information about the real JS220. This model is an updated version of the JS220 that was first released by MotorArt about 6 years ago as model number 13137. After a little bit of gentle persuasion the insides of the box can be pulled out and it consists of two interlocking plastic formers which hold the model quite securely. All that remains is to separate the two halves and get the model out and there's no assembly to do because this model is complete out of the box. Looking underneath the modelling is very simple on the undercarriage with an exposed structure, but the metal track pads are quite detailed. The track frames are quite reasonable although they don't have working rollers. Moving up to the cap, JCB is printed on the seat back. There's a windscreen wiper and aerial but no mirror. Looking at the back the new JCB decoration is very good with sharp graphics, but the casting is from the old version of the model so the side grills aren't quite accurate. At the front there's some simple hydraulics detailing to the main boom rams. And again the handrail is from the older version of the model, and it's plastic and quite flexible. Up on top of the body there's a textured surface, and again the engine cover is from the older version of the model, so it's not accurate to the real machine. The connections between the boom and the dipper are quite discreet with small friction rivets being used, and the graphics are good too, but there's no hydraulic hoses modelled. The metal bucket is a quite nice but simple metal casting. Let's get out onto the cranes etc test track and deliver the JS220. And the first thing to say is that it does fold up nicely to make a good transport load. After a strange sideways unloading procedure we're ready to test the machine. The crawler tracks have too much stiffness to work on a smooth surface and actually they're quite stiff to roll by hand. Although they may free up with a bit of use, also they're not spring loaded which is a little bit unusual. But of course this kind of machine doesn't work on smooth surfaces so let's try it on some rougher terrain. And the good news is that the tracks bite and the model rolls quite well. Time now to crank up the wrist action and get the machine spinning and it rotates very well without any rocking. A nice touch on the body is the opening engine cover and that allows a peek inside at the engine which is all black except the silver exhaust pipe. Moving on now to the all important digging functions and the first comment is that the ram pistons are metal and they are reasonably stiff so most poses will be held. The range of movement is also good with the model able to reach high and also fold down tight. At the end of the dipper the bucket movement is also good, with a full range of movement both in and out. For the last check of the digging function we need to engage the hover mode and set the machine up, and that demonstrates that the range of movement digging at depth is also very good. Just at this point we have to report there's news of further unrest amongst the Cranes Etc team. Ha! So much for the workers standing together in solidarity. Overall this is a fairly simple model from MotorArt because it's based on an older casting. So the detailing is not top notch but the functionality is reasonable. But if you're a collector of JCB machines and you want this one in the latest colour scheme then it's recommended. Yeah.